Interestingly enough, South America, which has long been politically, uh, have had leaders politically hostile to Israel, at least more favoring the pro-Palestinian stance. There has been a, a dramatic change in, in the country of Argentina, of all countries. Uh, the new Argentinian president, uh, Javier Milei, a, a right-wing outsider to Argentinian politics, was welcomed today by Foreign Minister Israel Katz at Ben Gurion International Airport. Now, of course, uh, Milei has has uh, spoken out strongly uh, in support of Israel and, in fact, pledged on his arrival here again to move the Argentinian embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which certainly be significant. Uh, the uh, Malay also paid a visit to the uh, Western Wall uh, in Jerusalem, something uh, certainly plenty of other foreign leaders have not done in the past. And, uh, Owen, what could you say? I mean, to see the president of, of Argentina, of all countries, countries uh, making these moves, uh, uh, even though, as I said, he is certainly an outlier in South American politics, but it is significant and would be significant if he actually carries through and moves the embassy. Right, an outlier these days, Kalev, with the left-wing ascendancy in, in so much of South America, but as so often happens in Latin America, Israel is essentially taken hostage in the polarization in the region, and an election can simply change a country's policy 180 degrees As we saw Israel. in Brazil, by the way. In, in Brazil, but even more so in a place like Colombia, yeah. right? With such good relations with Israel for so long, then uh, and then there's a change of power and a dramatic change in the approach to Israel in the opposite direction in Ecuador. You can you can look at a range of countries, Paraguay and its own movement, particularly on this issue of moving the embassy to Jerusalem. But you're right. The, it, the fact that there is such a small number of countries that have moved their embassies to Jerusalem after 2018 in the U.S. move, I think has to be classed as a disappointment. Mm. Uh, it may have been unrealistic to expect a huge wave, but at least a wave lit is, I think, what was the reasonable expectation. Even that hasn't materialized. But Argentina does change that a bit. This is an important country. This yeah, is a major sure. South American power. This is nothing to be sneezed at or laughed at. And we're, of course, seeing the picture of Javier Millet there at, at the Western Wall in Jerusalem. He has an affinity to, Jer to, to Judaism, right? Yeah. And has you know famously lit the Hanukkah menorah with then Foreign Minister Eli Cohen in Argentina, has visited, I believe, the, the grave of the Lubavitcher Rebbe in, in, in Queens. So again, has his own, has studied Jewish scripture. At any rate, uh, this is the kind of decision in that part of the world that could simply be reversed by a change in power. But Israel will take it while it can get it. And again, Argentina is significant. And obviously, a great moment for Israel Katz, right? Just coming in as foreign minister, he gets to give him the big hug at the airport and welcome him here. Expected to meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu on Wednesday. And knowing this Prime Minister, of course, he will take that meeting for all it's worth. Uh, and I think, uh, in some sense, rightly so. This is uh, an important diplomatic achievement for Israel, uh, even if it's uh, maybe an isolated one.